Hello folks, this is Delbert and Nancy. We're off on our jaunt around town, go see what we can find, see if we can get lost. We are on our way to Salem, Oregon today. We've got a list of about 20 things to go find in Salem and we'll take you along for the ride. We have made our way through Salem and we're on our way to an amusement park called Enchanted Forest theme park and we'll see what it's all about and um, bring you some pictures. There's a RV park with a flume ride and a couple other things. And here's this place called Enchanted Forest theme park. Enchanted Forest That's pretty neat. I don't know that I want to stop here. I couldn't really see much. I'll go up here and turn around. Another place that we found while driving along is a um, vineyard here. We're not going to go in, but I thought I'd take a picture of the entry. You can see all the grapes behind there. All right, folks, we're heading back down by the theme park and get another picture of it now that we know where it is and we can slow down a little bit. Got have to look it up on the web and see what it's all about. to downtown Salem. We haven't found the city buildings yet. 5.2 miles. Then turn left on Hill Street South. But right now we're heading to Mission Mill Museum. Gonna see what that looks like and get you some pictures. Kind of interesting. It's taking us into a housing then track. 5.2 miles to Mission Mill Museum. On right. Mm -hmm. I'm always the slow one on the road. Over here on my left should be this right. museum. Mission Hill Museum on right. No, that's the museum. Oh, I don't know what this is. Tokyo International to University. Tokyo University? And here is Mission Mill Museum. Kind of a neat building, neat property right here. Cafe's open. Mission Mill Museum is the interpretive site for two important historic stories. Jason Lee's Methodist Mission, 1834 to 1844, and the Thomas K. Mullen Mill, founded in 1889. Both are vital components of Salem and Oregon's history. Tours are available. Pretty neat. We're gonna go freelance this little tour for a minute. Got this bridge going up and over. It's a walking bridge between two places. Takes you up and over the road tracks. We can go see if city center is right on the other side of this street. that bridge again, people walking over it. And they must be walking to something. 
we found a historic Salem tour route and we're on it now and we'll see what kind of pictures we can bring you. We believe there's a college over here on the left side. That's part of what that bridge was going to, is to bring kids or some people into the college area. Building. Oh, we did find out that the um, the the university straight in front of us is Williamette University, and there is the Supreme Court of Oregon. Of Oregon, right there in that building. Okay. Here's the Justice Building here in Salem, right on the other side of the Supreme Court. Got a beautiful park over here. Uh -huh. On your right as well. Mm -hmm. That's neat. State of Oregon. The state of Oregon, that must be their Capitol building. Alrighty. Bunch of people playing off here in the water. Nancy would like me to pull over and hit the brakes for a minute. She's got some pictures to take. Alright, buddy, get back out of the way. Stay. Stay. It's a nice little mall out there in front of the state capitol here. Big grass area and a couple of water features. Like I said, some kids playing in the water. That's pretty neat. Here's more pictures of the lawn out in front of the capitol building. Then turn right. Another fountain here. No, no, I made her. Oh, that's pretty neat. Another span across. Continue 200 feet. Then turn right on Chemaketa Street Northeast. Turn right on Chemaketa Street Northeast. Get the other side of that mall where that water feature was out in front of the Oregon Capitol building. Point four miles. Then turn right on 12th Street Northeast. I never saw the, the thing on top of the dome. Hmm. Did you? No, I never looked up. Ah, she went down the Capitol Mall. I'll go back. Super secure way to bring people into court. 